What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ian, and <clears throat> right now I'm gonna show you my song that I made called the Cello Beat. Here's how it sounds. Last level really got me geeking. Got me geeking. I'm not saying things are better. I'm just speaking. I'm speaking. Better fly right when you ain't sleeping. No sleep. I'm not one to keep it quiet with a word. Ha ha. Let me guess again at where you've been, where you're from, where you're going when you're done. Got the check you spending some like influential people all the live long day. And if you work hard enough, you'll get there someday. Ha. So that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna run through all the instruments and what they're doing and uh, yeah. Okay, so first of all, we got the piano. The piano is from Spitfire Labs, which is a free plugin that has a lot of instruments that are all recorded in an actual studio. And Soft Piano is one of their best. Also, I like strings. I use that in this mix um, for the low cello notes. And um, another great one is their choir one, but they got a lot of good um, <clears throat> instruments you can use. Okay, and with that, um, let's see. So here are my effects. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I EQ'd it way up, and that's because I want the cello to punch through, and so the cello is on the low end. Um, so that's to separate those two. And then I have a compressor just to, you know, bring everything together. <clears throat> okay. And the next thing we have here is the cellos. And the cellos are each panned. I thought they were panned. Never mind, they're not panned. Um, oh, right. They're not panned because I wanted to hear them. And when they were in the middle in mono, and they're in the middle because they're like on both sides in the middle. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, <clears throat> you couldn't hear them. You couldn't hear them as well as when they're off to the side. So they're still off to the side at this moment. And on these, I have a slightly different EQ range for each. Um, and then altogether, we have this one gap at 100. And that's so the kick can punch through. And then we got a dynamic tube for some distortion to add some presence. All right. And then the next thing we have is contact. Oh, and the cello is also Spitfire Labs, as I mentioned. So contact is um, pretty great. It's free if you're running the demo like me. Um, and I just used Ethereal Earth Water Therapy. And that's that long note there, right here. Better I'm just speaking, I'm speaking. Better fly right when you ain't sleeping, no sleep. Just add some atmosphere I like. Uh, okay, and then here's my vocals. So my vocal chain, doesn't have a whole lot of EQ. Um, first thing I did is I added a saturator, then a de-esser to get rid of the sibilants, and then an EQ just, just to get rid of that bottom end that you can't hear. Because what that does is, if you get rid of the part that you can't hear, it makes the stuff that's left much more present. So um, then we have a compressor and just, just let's see <clears throat> excuse me also um we have two chains here <clears throat> one's the dry chain that's just output of what we already have and then the second is that dry chain but it's going through a chorus and a reverb and that's just to add more um <clears throat> intricacies to the vocal um and also to the reverb especially is to add atmosphere and, and show like um, what kind of space it's in. Okay. So, okay, next thing are these vocals. And these are all just like shout vocals that I added uh, just to go in between. Yeah. So, like, the quiet with the word. Ha ha. And the ha ha, I wanted it to sound like a school, like, like a bunch of kids at school. Uh, so, that's why I added a bunch of different ones at different. Um, frequencies okay next thing we have the beat so first I'll go over the hats so the hi-hats have a dynamic to velocity uh, MIDI effect and and that's just to make it so that there's some 
uh, variation in the velocity of the notes. And you get to pick like how what range you want that to be in. And the next thing we have is an EQ so that it's kind of, you know, not completely in the high end, but also, you know, leaves room in the low from like the snare and the and the kick and the cello. So just to narrow that down. And then we have two chains, again, like the vocal. Uh, one has reverb on it. And yeah, that's just, you know, you don't need the reverb on hi-hats, but I thought it added some nice texture. Um, you couldn't even hear that there. But, uh, <clears throat> and the other one's just a dry chain. So next we have the kick. And the kick has a saturator, of course then a little bit of bit reduction with the Redux plugin. And yeah, I just have a little bit of down sample. And that was mostly to get like a, uh, a little like whistle of like whistle tone hidden in there just to add some mm, more texture, I guess I'm gonna say again, like like more uh, character to the beat. Someday ha. See if I can find that part where it has, let's see. Press A for automation, okay. Uh -huh. Let me guess again at where you've been, where you're from, where you're going when you're done. It's like squee, squee. This kind of sounds like that. Uh, <clears throat> then we got the EQ, and again, I'm cutting out the bottom end so that what's left is much more present, and no need for the top end as long as the transients get through. Those are the high tones of the kick. Uh, it's gonna have presence. If you just have the low end, you're probably not gonna hear it. It's just gonna sound like a rumble. And you're not going to hear like the puh, puh of the kick. Poom, poom. Um, and then we have a compressor just to flatten everything. So, okay, now we have the snare. <clears throat> the snare has a saturator, an EQ. And you'll notice the EQ is kind of in the hat territory and also in the kick territory. But, like, I, I, I tried to make it more separate just by having the two what do you call those mm, cuts yeah low cut high cut and then we have a reverb and uh that's basically it that is it no basically's okay and now you might be interested to see how i do my hi-hats so here i just did pretty simple 16th notes i guess uh, let me guess again at where you've been and then this is just like a you know quick 30 second note in there and uh, over here we got some triplets and to get triplets you just right click and then click triplet grid and you'll see that those notes line up with that triplet grid so where you going when you done got the check you spend in some like okay and yeah that's that's basically it let's see the kick I'm speaking better fly right when... Yeah, I try to make the kick and snare like like really together in a certain way Like really both of them are, are building off of each other. It's hard to describe but I'm, I'm still getting better at it um, But I, I just think like a kick and a snare have to be together working together So fly right when you ain't sleep and no sleep. I'm not one to keep it quiet with a word Ha, ha, let me guess again at where you've been. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, please leave a like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Um, and feel free to steal from my ideas. You know, I, I want this to be valuable to you and, and I, I love sharing the things I come up with. Um, and yeah. Have a nice day. Last level really got me geeking. Got me geeking. I'm not saying things are better, I'm just speaking. I'm speaking. Better fly right when you ain't sleeping. No sleep. I'm not one to keep it quiet with a word. Ha ha. Let me guess again at where you've been, where you're from, where you're going when you're done. Got the check you spending some like influential people all the